Boo! yelled a ghost. Arthur said the ghost sneakers looked like Coach Barth's. A werewolf howled. Then it sneezed. Bless you, said the ghost, politely to the werewolf. This isn't scary at all, Stanley said. Let's get out of here, Arthur. Outside, Arthur and Stanley saw a little boy crying. It was their neighbor, Martin Tibbs. What's wrong? asked Stanley. Did the haunted house scare you? No, Martin sniffled. Martin told them that a bully had stolen his giant candy corn. It was my prize for winning the limbo contest, he said sadly. I missed the limbo I missed the limbo contest. Rats said Stanley. Where did the mean kid go? asked Arthur. Martin pointed across the gym. An older boy leaned against the wall. Next to him was the candy corn. That's one big candy corn, said Arthur. That's one big kid, said Stanley. Stanley looked at Arthur's costume. I have an idea, he said. Make room for me, Arthur. <laughs> Stanley took off his costume and slipped inside Arthur's. <laughs> then he whispered in Arthur's ear. Great plan, Arthur said. Just don't blink. <laughs> Arthur walked over to the big kid. Stanley didn't blink. Give that candy corn back or else, Arthur demanded. Or else what, said the bully. I'll tell everyone that you're scared of me, said Arthur. The kid stood up tall. He stepped right in front of Arthur and Stanley. Stanley still didn't blink. Why should I be scared of you, the bully growled. I'm a two-headed monster, Arthur said. The boy pointed to Stanley's face. Ha! Huh, that head is so fake, he said. Then Stanley blinked. Fake, said Stanley. Oh, really? <laughs> ah! yelled the bully. He ran out the gym door, leaving the candy corn behind. yelled Stanley and Arthur. They jumped up and down inside Arthur's costume. Martin picked up his candy corn. Thanks, guys! Uh-oh, said Arthur. Stanley turned around. Mr. and Mrs. Lambchop were standing behind them. Arthur and Stanley Lambchop, I saw what you did. Mrs. Lambchop said sternly. That was scary. Then Mrs. Lambchop smiled. Too scary. <laughs>